Hi guys, welcome back. I am Dr. Ray and today we're going to be talking about body condition score. Um, I love this topic. So I probably talk about body condition score literally every day. Um, this is a really important topic to me. Um, obviously I do a lot of videos on here about food um, and I think that having a healthy weight is extremely important. Obviously Dogs that are overweight are going to have a myriad of health conditions. Uh, you guys realize that when your pet's overweight, maybe they're more sluggish. Uh, they have issues with mobility. They don't play as much. And they're just not as happy. And so we want to be able to tell if the pet is an appropriate weight. You guys ask this at your annuals every year. You know, you ask me, you know, does my dog look good? Uh, is my is my pet a healthy weight? And so you guys don't have to wait to your appointment to figure this out. I'm going to teach you how to give your pet a body condition score or BCS right now. So body condition scoring, um, it's a standardized way that we can um, assess our pet's weight. It's usually on a scale from either one to five or uh, one to nine. And so I like using the one to nine. I think it gives us a little bit more variation. And so we're going to be going over the body condition scale um, on the one to nine scale today. And so one is going to be the very, you know, low end of the scale. It's going to be the skinny end of the scale. And nine is going to be the obese end of the scale. And so there's a couple different ways that you can try to determine if your pet is overweight or where they're at on the scale. And so um, I'll go through the numbers really quick. So one is extremely emaciated. It's really sad. We don't want to see that. We're not going to talk about that one. You can imagine the skinniest, you know, most skeleton pet you've ever seen. Horrible. And that's a, you know, that's a one. No fat, all bones. Two is a little bit better. Um, still no fat. Lots of, you know, protruding bones. Um, and a little bit better than one, but still not great. Three is uh, slightly underweight. Uh, maybe, you know, a pet that's in the animal shelter. Um, you see it and you, you know, you cue Sarah McLaughlin singing, SPCA, et cetera, et cetera. So they're a little bit underweight. They need a little TLC, but not as bad as one or two. Um, four, to me, is ideal. So four or five on the body condition score when you're using the one to nine um, is lean, but ideal lean. And so that's my favorite. That's where I keep my dogs. That's where I end up. Um, trying to advise you guys to get and there's a reason for that and we'll go over that in the end um, I'm going to go over a paper with you that um, You know is why I have that assessment when I try to get you guys to get to a good body condition And so four is your dog when you look at it from the side it has a really nice tuck up in the waist When you look at it down has a nice hourglass figure and the most important is when you run your hand across the chest you can't see the ribs, but you can feel them. So you can play the piano on them. Um, each rib you can feel. Uh, when, you, you know, when you touch it, it's nice and slick. Five is also ideal. It's a little bit of a heavier ideal. You can still you know, feel the ribs, not see them, but you know, maybe not as easy. Six is getting into the overweight category. We're getting a little bit of fat over the ribs. We can't see them anymore you know, when the light is just right. We're having a really hard time feeling them. Um, maybe when you press the, you know, the skin, your fingers are depressing a little bit. So slightly overweight. Seven is going to be, again, a little bit more than that. So fingers sink in a little bit more. Um, we've lost that hourglass figure now. We've lost that tuck up. Eight is getting into the danger zone. And so we absolutely can't see the waist anymore. Um, we have zero tuck up. Um, we have excessive amounts of fat. Maybe you're starting to get that little bubble around the tail. Um, people, you know, will come to us and they'll say, it looks like, you know, my pet maybe has some lumps back there. And, you know, we have to break the bad news and say, those aren't lumps. Those are love handles. So that's an eight. And then nine is really sad. Nine is morbidly obese. Um, they look, I, you know, I usually tell people they look like a sausage. You know, when you look at your pet, you know, down. There's absolutely no waste. Your hand sinks in like five inches when you're trying to palpate the ribs. And so nine is, you know, is anything above that. There's nothing else above nine. Nine is like the biggest. And so that's how um, when I'm at, you know, at work and I'm explaining to you guys how to do it, how I would classify body condition. Now, there's another way um, that was explained to me that I think that is really helpful. 
it's not as um, you know precise as what I just went through, but this way is also helpful. So if you take your hand and you open it and you run your fingers down here, the fleshy part, this is overweight. You can't feel your bones, right? So we're touching this, we can't feel our bones, we just feel flesh. That's gonna be overweight. So that's gonna be your six or seven or your eight. If you turn your hand around and you feel your knuckles, right here, this is going to be underweight. So, ugh, I can figure this out. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be underweight. So, there we go. My bones are protruding. So, I can feel these way too. Let's try to zoom. Let's bring it in here. All right, here we go. So this is underweight. I can feel these bones way too easily. They're sticking out. This is way too skinny. If you open your hand and you run your, your fingers across this part here, this is perfect. So I can feel each one of these ribs, but, you know, it's not protruding. Um, I can count them easily, and there's not a lot of flesh covering it. And so that's going to be ideal. So you can use both of those techniques to try to determine whether or not your pet is overweight. Now, if you find your pet is overweight, you can check out some of my earlier videos on how to calculate your calories, um, how to look for traps in pet food, such as all life stages pet food that might be contributing um, to that. And then you can either make a change or if you find that you're doing everything right, maybe you just need to make a little bit of a decrease. So a lot of the recommendations for resting energy requirement and things on the package, you know, that's just a recommendation. Um, it's a starting point and sometimes we need to adjust. So I tell people, um, you know, maybe just decrease by 10% or 20% and see where that gets you. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I think the four on the body condition score is appropriate. Um, and why my parents say I'm the meanest dog owner ever because, you know, I don't give my dogs, you know, any treats or snacks or anything like that. Um, and why I say everybody is fat. I don't, but they say that I do. So the paper that I'm referring to was done by Purina. Um, they did an excellent job. I think this is probably some of the best research um, that has been done. So kudos to Purina for, you know, providing the study. Um, it's a lifespan study. So they took dogs um, and they took a group of dogs that were all related. They were Labrador retrievers. And they took these dogs and they followed them their entire life. So we're talking about dogs from puppies. 14 years they did this study. And they took one group of dogs and they let those dogs basically eat, you know, whatever they wanted. Um, their labs. So you can imagine a lab will eat and 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 say so they let them do whatever they want. They took the other group of labs and they fed them appropriately, basically. Um, and you can read the paper. I'm gonna link it below. I think you should read the paper. Um, it's very easy to read. It's not anything crazy. But they took the second group of dogs, basically, and they fed them what they should eat. They fed them an appropriate amount. They fed them um, to be a lean four on the body condition score. And so <laughs> the fact of the matter is, and what is quite amazing is, the dogs that were leaner lived two years longer than the dogs that were overweight. And so it can be really difficult when your dog is, be you know, begging and they're giving the puppy dog eyes and they want those snacks. You know, it's easy to give in. But just think about that. Two years longer, that's a lot. Um, if, you know, the, the average lifespan for a pet, you know, depending on the, on the breed. So Sable She's a Mastiff, you know, the average life expectancy, you know, maybe 10, 12 years. You know, I'd hate to have that, you know, truncated by two years for her um, because of the snacks and because of not feeding her appropriately. And so I think the body condition score is something everybody can do. You guys can do it at home. You don't have to wait for your annual um, to determine if your pet's the, you know, the appropriate body condition. Um, I think you should do it. I think you should reevaluate that body condition regularly. And if you find that we're over, go ahead and do that decrease. Now, if you do that decrease and you're running into problems and you can't get them to lose the weight, um, then consult your veterinarian because there are some other conditions that might be contributing. Or maybe we need to do a really in-depth um, analysis. Maybe we need to do an in-depth analysis of the food you're feeding or how you're feeding it and things like that. So 
I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys can now determine your pet's body condition. Uh, you can go back and watch some of these videos and learn more about diet and things like that. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. If you have any questions or comments, leave me a comment or question. I try to get back to you guys, um, you know, pretty pretty quickly. Obviously, it's an emergency. Don't, don't do that. Call your vet. But if you have a question or you need some clarification on anything that I discussed today, leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.